The Stockholm class patrol boat, formerly Corvette, was the first representative of the 40 year successful Corvette tradition of the Swedish Navy. Two ships of this class have been parts of many significant events in the Swedish naval history. Today, we're investigating the Stockholm class, the small warship that never gets old to defend Sweden. The Stockholm class keeps most of its combat capability as a corvette, even though it is now called a patrol boat. Alongside its Visby and Jävla class sisters, two ships of this class are the defenders of Swedish interests and they will be one of the essential elements of NATO in the Baltic Sea soon. The Stockholm class also has a story that tells the adventure of modern Swedish Navy. On February 4, 1958, the Swedish Riksdag passed the 1958 Defense Act. It prioritized the Army and Air Force while reducing the Navy's share in the defense budget from 18 to 12 percent. Sweden would gradually replace its major surface combatants with the fast attack crafts in the anti-surface warfare mission and submarines would become the backbone of anti-submarine warfare or shortly ASW missions. So, during the 1970s, this country did not build new big warships to replace the Holland and Österjotland class destroyers and Wisby class frigates. But since they also performed as command ships for the torpedo missile boat flotillas, the Swedish Navy needed a new small vessel for this mission. Sweden considered several options, including a gunboat with a helipad. Later, Stockholm initiated the Utatak missile boat project for an enlarged variant of the Spitze class vessels to increase the endurance and carry the command and control equipment. It was unofficially called the Spitze 3 class. 81 refers to 1981 meaning the new boat would be commissioned in 1981 since the Swedish destroyers and frigates were scheduled to be decommissioned in 1982. However, in 1981, the Soviet Whiskey-class submarine S-363, which was unofficially named as U-137 by the Swedish, had run aground outside Karlskrona. This event showed that the Swedish Navy was seriously lacking in its ASW capacity and needed a new type of vessel. So, Stockholm decided to modify the Utatak 81 project rather than designing a new one to reduce development time and costs. The new vessel would now be a small ASW corvette. Initially, the Swedish Navy designated it as Kust Corvette, meaning coastal corvette. Yet, due to the redesign process, new ships would not be ready when the Swedish destroyers and frigates were decommissioned in 1982. The first of its class, HMS Stockholm, was laid down on August 1st, 1982, launched on August 22, 1984, and commissioned on February 22, 1985. The second and last ship, HMS Malmö, was laid down on March 14, 1983, launched on March 22, 1985, and commissioned on May 10, 1985. After delivery, they became command ships for the surface combat flotillas. The Stockholm class vessels were the same size and appearance as missile boats, but they had high ASW capability, unlike the other small sized corvettes of the time. The ships had steel hull and light aluminum alloy superstructures and masts. They were equipped with the Marel 880 command and control information system, designed to provide them ranging in size from offshore patrol vessels to destroyers with target detection, identification and tracking facilities alongside movement prediction threat evaluation, weapon coordination, and unit deployment. This system also allowed to send and receive target data from aircraft and land units. Except for the guns, all weapon systems were designed to be interchangeable. Thus, the ship could be fitted with either 8, 4, or no RBS-15 SSM launchers, as could either two additional 533mm or four 400mm torpedo tubes or mine rails. The Stockholm class had one 6,540 horsepower General Motors Allison 570KF gas turbine and two 4,200 horsepower MTU 16V 396TB93 diesel engines in Kodak configuration for long endurance. In 1998, the Swedish Navy changed the ship's classification to Corvette, meaning exactly as it sounds, Corvette. These corvettes have constantly been modernized to respond to the new requirements. The Stockholm class had initially had variable depth sonars. 
They were also fitted with fixed hull sonars in 1992. In the late 1990s, Sweden had reached a certain level of marine stealth and sensor technologies. So, many of these advancements were applied to the Stockholm class. Its structural design was modified to reduce radar and infrared signatures. A lattice mast was replaced with a pylon structure. The superstructure for the command bridge was added. The bridge wings were removed. The 40mm gun and the 533mm torpedo tubes were removed and instead a superstructure was built for the towed sonar. However, this change reduced aft deck space and thus mine capacity. With this modernization, the Stockholm class was equipped with a new propulsion system consisting of one 5440 horsepower Allied Signal TF-50A gas turbine and two 5277 horsepower MTU 16V396 TB94 diesel engines. Besides, the Model 880 has been replaced with the 9LV Mark III-E while other sensors have been updated. The Stockholm class also fitted with the multi-ammunition soft kill system, shortly mass, self-defense system. Their signal intelligence and navigational systems have been modernized. These modifications were also made to minimize future operational and maintenance costs and requirements. The guiding principle for the project was to update as many of the systems as possible to the same level as the Wisby class corvettes. Besides, the camouflage painting of the Stockholm class has been changed from dark grey to light grey. In the mid-2000s, the Swedish Navy began to join major multinational operations. Alongside the Gävle-class corvettes, the Stockholm-class also served such missions. In 2009, the corvettes were modified once more to participate in the EU mission MEO-1 in the Gulf of Aden. They were fitted with new communication equipment and a David for a rigid inflatable boat. The Swedish Navy also installed an improved ventilation system on the ships for the region's hot climate. In the mid-2010s, Sweden was optimistic about a peaceful future. So, in 2015, Sweden awarded Saab a contract to overhaul the Stockholm-class corvettes and convert them to patrol boats. After the modernization, these ships lost their TSM-2642 towed sonars and torpedo launch capabilities. However, they retained their Simrad SS-304 hull-mounted sonars even though they are not crewed for the system in a standard mission. Sonar operators can be provided if required. Besides, the vessels now have several new communication systems, such as the Rokal Government Secure Radio Communication System, IFF Receiver, and Military Standard Global Positioning System. The Stockholm class, which retains the RBS-15 anti-ship missiles, are now performing maritime surveillance mission rather than ASW and commanding surface flotillas. Due to changes, their crew has been reduced to 26 from 33. Since these ships have a modular design, allowing easy installations of weapon systems, they can quickly regain their combat capability in case of a war. The complement of the Stockholm class is 26 people. The boat has a length of 50 meters, a beam of 7.5 meters and a draught of 3.3 meters. Its standard displacement is 350 tons while its fully loaded displacement is 380 tons. The boat has a maximum speed of 30 knots. During their transformation process, the Stockholm class lost many weapon systems such as the 40mm L70 gun, 400 and 533mm torpedo tubes and ASW-601 incident weapons. However, the boats retained their 57mm gun and anti-ship missiles. Housed inside a stealthy shield, the 57mm SAK Mark II bow gun has a rate of fire of 220 rounds per minute and a maximum effective range of 17,000 meters. It is controlled by the KU J Band 9LV200 Mark III radar electro optic director. The Stockholm class can carry up to 8 RBS 15 Mark II anti ship missiles with a 150 kg high explosive blast pre fragmented warhead and a range of 110 kilometers. If required, the vessel can be fitted with 400mm torpedo launchers again. The TP-45 has continuous two-way data link capability. If it stops communicating with the submarine, the torpedo travels toward the target's last known location 
and then it activates its passive active homing system to find the target. The TP-45 has a top speed of 45 knots and a range of 20,000 meters. Besides, the boat can lay sea mines and throw depth charges. In different missions, it has been seen that the Stockholm class has been fitted with machine guns and automatic grenade launchers. The Swedish Navy began to participate in multinational operations by the mid-2000s. Following the 2006 Lebanon War, HMS Gevle and HMS Sunzwan of the Gevle class took part in a United Nations operation off the coast of Lebanon in 2006 and 2007 respectively. Before, the Swedish ground troops and combat aircraft had been deployed and even fought abroad. However, this mission has made the Gevle class the first modern Swedish surface combatant that served in an overseas military operation. Still, it was a non-combat surveillance mission. The Stockholm class became the first Swedish surface combatant to fire its gun in anger in an overseas operation. In early 2009, the Swedish government sent HMS Stockholm and HMS Malmö to the coast of Somalia to join the EU-led task force against piracy. They served in Operation Atalanta. On May 26, 2009, HMS Malmö responded to a pirate attack on the Greek ship MV Adomis. The corvette fired warning shots with its 57mm cannon and arrested seven pirates. After completing their patrol mission in the region, these two corvettes returned to Sweden on the cargo ship MVI Transporter in the same year. Before that, HMS Stockholm had already left her mark on Swedish history in 1990. When the Swedish Coastal Artillery School left Castella Citadel located on the islet Kastelholmen in central Stockholm in 1990, the authorities decided to lower the naval flag for good, which had been waived since the mid-17th century. This decision caused protests from the public and the commander of the HMS Stockholm, Kenneth Lindmark. On April 2, 1990, he sent some sailors from his crew to the Castelle to raise the flag while the corvette passed. Yet, on the same day, other military personnel lowered the flag. After this incident, which caused further debates, the authorities changed their decision. Since June 6, 1990, two soldiers from the Swedish Royal Guards have gone to Kastelholmen every day to raise and lower the flag. The developments since 1958 have constantly shaped the Stockholm class. The decision to retire destroyers and frigates led to its creation. Realizing the weakness in the ASW capability delivered the Stockholm class its configuration and made it an ASW corvette. Advancements in stealth and sensor technologies in Sweden gave these vessels a second life. When Stockholm decided to participate in multinational naval operations, it relied on its namesake ships. When peace seemed on the horizon, the Stockholm class became patrol boats. While the Second Cold War is rising, HMS Stockholm and HMS Malmö continue to protect Sweden's Baltic coasts, and they will soon be a part of NATO's security. Thanks for watching our video, and please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the bell button to be notified of our new videos. Also, you can now click the join button to support our channel. And as always, we would greatly appreciate all of your likes, comments and shares.